Welcome to Metric Measurement, Episode 2, about capacity. Have you ever noticed the number 236 followed by a little M and a big L on your milk container? These numbers tell you the capacity of your milk carton. Capacity is how much liquid something can hold or how much space is inside a container. In this podcast, you will learn how to identify and describe the size of a liter and a milliliter. This can help you to estimate capacity quickly and correctly. Here in the United States, we measure capacity with customer units like teaspoons, cups, pints, quarts, and gallons. However, scientists and most other places in the world use metric units of capacity like the liter and milliliter. A large water bottle like this holds one liter of liquid. The most common place you might see liters is when you buy a large bottle of soda, like this. A bottle this size holds two liters of soda. If you divided the space inside a liter into 1,000 smaller spaces, you would get the size of a milliliter. So 1,000 milliliters equals one liter. A milliliter is the amount of water this pipette holds up to the one milliliter line. One milliliter is about this much water. This graduated cylinder also measures milliliters. A milliliter is a very small unit of capacity. It is useful for measuring things like this cough medicine. Or how much water you need to give a cactus each week. Now that you know a little bit about the size of a liter and a milliliter, it is time to use what you know. Here is an example. Check out this cooler. Would you like to use liters or milliliters to measure its capacity? Usually, when you measure something this size and you don't need to be exact, you want to use something that would fill it up quickly. Since liters are bigger than milliliters, liters would be the best choice. Next, consider this eyedropper for medicine. This is small and you want to be exact with your measurement. A liter is too big to measure the space inside the eyedropper. The best units to use in this example are milliliters. Now you're on your own. Would you use milliliters or liters to measure the capacity of this vanilla bottle? Because of the size, you would use milliliters. Would you use milliliters or liters to measure the capacity of a bathtub? The best choice would be liters because of its large size. What do you think about this bottle of vinegar? It may look like you could use liters, but it is still too small. You would need to use milliliters. Now you can use what you know to estimate the capacity of things around you. Look for containers that hold liquid and guess which unit was used to measure what it holds. Remember that liters are a bigger measurement when compared to milliliters. If you forget, Imagine, this one liter water bottle holds 1,000 milliliters. Stay tuned for the final episode of Metric Measurement where we will be exploring units of weight. Until then, happy metric measuring!